What's going on guys? It's Shane. We are back here again with another video and today we are going to be playing Starline Bus Services. No, sorry. School Bus Simulator Starline. I don't even know the name of my own game. Can you believe it? Owned by Starline Bus Services. Yes, uh, the time has finally come. The game is out. I know I'm recording this a little late. Um, I know a lot of you guys got to play it when it first released. We had about a total of like 26 people playing, which doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, it was it was quite a bit. And look how dark it is. Um, so the streetlights are on because they do turn on at a certain point. It is actually 1.54 a.m. Uh, and we got a few people in here, uh, actually two other drivers, uh, flexing their little level and their rank there. Um, so not much has changed since the initial... Um, uh, the initial gameplay uh, footage that I recorded, other than this donation board, this is a thing now. Um, shout out to everybody who's donated. Look at this. Quite a few. Quite a few. You guys are so cool. Anyway, it kind of refreshed them. Um, the overhead UI rainbow name tag isn't working for some reason. I don't know why. It works in studio, but it's no longer working in the game. Anyway... Let's go ahead and spawn in a bus. And when I mean a bus, I mean a bus because we only have one bus in the game right now. It's the 2018 CE. Like I said, you guys have seen it already. Um, I just want to let you guys know, I did not build this bus, okay? I have people, you know, in my Discord server talking about how long it took me to build this bus. I didn't build the bus. I bought the bus. Uh, actually, a lot of products in the game I actually bought. Um, you'll see some stores up there that I bought from... Uh, uh, not from Huxley, but it was from uh, a different place. And the only reason I bought buildings and stuff was because I was trying to get this game out as soon as possible. And uh, so I do plan on re-going through everything and make sure every, you know, everything's authentic and it's built by myself. Uh, all the schools were built by me, though. So I'm proud of that. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this on. Click the seatbelt. I will admit, it is going to be a little weird driving at nighttime. It will be a little weird. Now, to turn off this UI, I'm just going to go ahead and... Actually, yeah, we'll leave some of it on. I'm going to take off that progress bar, though. Um, and what I think I've decided I'm going to do is actually just make one UI button where it, if I press it, it'll just disable the UI, like all the UI on the screen. Um, that's probably going to be a lot easier. The only reason I did it this way is because I think some people might want to keep some things on and some things off. Like, you know, you can turn off the time clock and the location and you can only have the mini map. Um, you know, speaking of the mini map, still the same thing. Um, you see it displays everybody's location it's saying he's over there. Is he over there? Uh, is he over there? Let me see. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's just standing over there for some reason. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. The bus is started. All right. For some reason, I can barely hear it. I got to turn my volume up. There we go. Okay. Look at how beautiful this game looks at night. I haven't really done much testing at nighttime, so it's a little different for me. Uh, like, just, like, the water at nighttime looks so cool. So, a lot of you guys have been enjoying the game. Um, like I said, about 26 of you were in the game at one time when it released. Um, that was just amazing. We got one person here just hopping around. Dude, I'm not going to lie to you. Why do I feel like that's a bot? I, dude, I have a theory, and some of you guys have already heard it. I feel like Roblox is kind of just... When you make a new game, I think they're like implementing bots that join people's games to make it seem like they're actually having players join. But what they do is they kind of jump around and walk around. They don't actually do anything. I'm wondering if that's what these things are. However, they are, they have been in the game for quite a bit if they're level 5 and 12. So maybe not. If, if, if one of you guys are watching this video, let me know. So I know you're not an actual bot. 
So we're on Delta Street here. Oh, this looks so good. I haven't gotten to play it at nighttime. So I'm working on the fall update. That's like my next big thing that I'm working on for this game. Um, also trying to work on the bus customization. It was going good. Um, however, with the addition of the Huxley spawner, it's making it a little more difficult because I have to... Uh, it has to recognize... Um, well, I have a way of doing it. However, that way is making is not really compatible with the spawner. So I'm going to have to find a alternative solution. Uh, let me just, oh, new stop the bus. I want to get a screenshot. Look at this. That's beautiful. That might even be more beautiful. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the fog light is not working for some reason. I might have to... I don't know if it's a keybind or if I have to edit it in the uh, bus functions or mechanism or um, bus settings. So, yeah, I'm working on the fall update, uh, working on Main Street. So... I do plan on having kind of like a town square area, um, having it to where the road layout is a little, a little nicer for the main street area. It's going to be filled with like shops and everything. And I'll probably name them after you guys and stuff. I'll have like a little contest or whatever. Um, some of your recent suggestions or not suggestions, but I wouldn't even say complaints because they're not really complaints. I did kind of ask for feedback. Um, I did a poll on whether or not you guys like this game yet or not. A lot of you guys said it was amazing. Some of you guys said it's good, but it needs work. Um, so I want to ask you guys right now, what exactly needs done the most? Because personally, I feel like I did a great job on the map. That's what I focused on the most, obviously. This bus here is pretty much stock, so I didn't do much work to it. Um, somebody said that the map is kind of lacking buildings other than... They, they're saying like it's a bunch of houses, not many buildings. I can see that. That's why I tried to implement like rivers and ponds and a bunch of trees and, you know, three different schools and the mountains in the background as well. So I tried to make it different than your standard bus simulators where it's just filled with houses. And I do want to give an example and they've kind of shifted away from it, but they still kind of use it. Um, Robloxia school bus transportation services used to do it. Uh, their map was filled with uh, just houses. However, now it's a little different. They got some buildings in their actual game um, and Canton, Canton, Georgia, they got their map from RSPTS as well. So that would explain why their map is very, you know, it's very, it's very open, but it has like just a bunch of houses, a bunch of these mesh houses, which there's nothing wrong with. I totally see why some people would be okay with that. And some people, you know, wouldn't, it totally makes sense. Um, but yeah, no, I tried to add a little bit of everything and, you know, even a little, uh, a cul-de-sac right there, which is pretty cool. We'll hit that up here in a second, but, uh, yeah. The hardest thing to work on was this mini map though. And it's still not perfected. As you can see, it's, I wanted to do it a little different, but yeah, you know, I can't, is that guy in a bus? Let's see, I want to see if he's in a bus. See, I'm telling you right now, this is a bot. There's no, way. <laughs> come on, Roblox. I'm on to you, dude. I am on to you. I already know because I've seen it so much in different games and stuff. I know those are bots because one of them's just hanging around at the spawn. The other one's just like moving around. Let me find out. That's what Roblox is actually doing. <clears throat> anyway, we got some hills here as well. 
Got some trash cans, some uh, cars on the side of the roads. Uh, the brakes are... Some people are kind of complaining about the brakes. I did go in and tweak them. Uh, this bus stock has horrible brakes, and I made sure to kind of fix them. However, people s still seem to think it takes forever to stop, which I don't think it does. I think it's a perfect balance, but, you know, if I have to, I'll go back in and edit it some more, but, uh, yeah, same with the turning. I did edit the turning as well. Um, try to get it to where uh, this thing is so stiff as when it's stock. It's so weird to turn. So. Yep, here's the cul-de-sac here. And I made it big enough to where you can actually go around it. And you don't have to back up and everything. But yeah, I think it's a perfect game for release. Honestly, I think it's in a perfect state right now for release. I've got no issues with it. And to be fair, I did not spend every day for the last few months working on this thing. I did take some breaks in between. Because you kind of just lose motivation sometimes. But I'm finally glad I got it out and people are, people are still playing it. Is this guy... Okay, I thought he was up here in the road. I was about to say... I can hear Jimi Hendrix in the background. In the living room TV. Unbelievable. Love Jimi Hendrix. But Newsflash, not the greatest guitar player that has ever lived. Sorry. Not sorry. But here is the elementary school, or sorry, middle school. It was intended to be the elementary school. But it didn't turn out that way. I have a help tab here, which I've yet to put uh, anything in. But, uh, yeah, I tried to steer away from, you know, your traditional school bus simulator. You know, I added a time clock. I added a mini map. I added street display, which is kind of working. It, you know, it displays we're in the MS bus loop, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I tried to make the map a little unique as well. Which hopefully I did. Got some farms as well. Also working on field trip destinations. That's going to be a big thing I want to add. Same with the passenger system. I know that's a big one. That would really... That would really be a... Honestly, that would be... If I were to build a passenger system and implement it, that would be, that would solve, so, what am, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. That would make my game probably better than 70% of bus simulators on Roblox. Because there's only a few that have them. Only a few. So we're on Queen Street here. Yeah, it's 5, 11 a.m. It's about to be sunrise here in a second. I think it's 6 a.m. or 6.30 is when sunrise hits. And the streetlights do actually turn off. In fact, I had to build the same thing for uh, NBC uh, not too long ago. Here's kind of a construction site here, which was implemented at the last second there because there was supposed to be more buildings here, but uh, this is actually where Main Street's going to go. So this whole street's going to get a revamp and it's going to look completely different. I just need to find the time to do it. It might not actually come in the fall update because the fall update is something I'm going to be working on and it might only contain like a season change maybe and uh, a new bus as well which I have still yet to 
It's Gus. And then we have the uh, good old trailer park here. Which I actually didn't name. I meant to name them. Not bad. Yep, sun's kind of starting to come up. It's it's peaking. Well, you can't really see it, but it's right under those mountains. Um, the game should be. Uh, I think I said I, I had somebody playing on Xbox or something, and they said it was pretty smooth. So that's good. Uh, I've yet to have anybody play on mobile. Other than myself, I did play it on mobile, and it seems to work okay. Um, I know some of you guys are kind of disappointed that you can't operate the doors on mobile, and you can't operate the lights, which I understand. I'm still trying to fix that. Or implement, I should say. Anyway, we're going to return to the lot here and wrap up the video. I don't know. I think it's a great game. You guys let me know down below. I did this all in a matter of about three months, maybe four. So, it didn't take terribly long. And I did it all myself. Not no one helped. Royale helped a little bit. I mean, he mainly helped with the thumbnail and the game icon. So, what are we? Oh seven. I can't see the letters. Wait, are they even down there? Uh, what happened to the? The numbers are supposed to be on the ground, but apparently, they're not showing up. Weird. Okay, we'll just park around front then. See, I tell you, it's a bot. He's just standing there. He's been there for the entirety of 15 minutes. Unbelievable. There's the sunrise. Look at it. Right when we end the video. How cool is that? How cool is that? All right. Come on. And there's the child check. All good there. And boom. There we go. Well, there you have it. My game has finally released. And don't worry. This update is first of many, right? Next update is going to be the fall update. And you'll get a new bus. So be on the lookout for that. Um, if you guys do wish to play this game yourself. And I mean, honestly, give it a try. Because I worked pretty hard. And, uh, yeah, it will be linked in the description down below. Um, same with the Discord server. Starline Discord server is going to be in the description below as well. If you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.